Now to the urgent need for blood donors, especially during this uncertain time. IndyCar driver James Hinchcliffe knows the importance of the Red Cross and blood donation after nearly losing his life on the track. Dave First has more in tonight's Sports Extra Spotlight. The Red Cross is flying the flag of help again, a sign the country needs blood. And among those first in the scene is IndyCar driver James Hinchcliffe. If anyone knows the importance of something like this, it's you. you know. Yeah, no doubt. Hard to believe it's almost been five years now since this at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Hinch's accident during practice for the Indy 500. He lost 22 pints of blood, twice an average person's blood volume. An accident that nearly cost his life. So a splash of hand sanitizer and a temperature check is small stuff on a day like this. Most of the blood that the Red Cross collects comes from drives at schools, you know, high schools, universities, colleges, uh, big businesses. Right. Obviously, all that shut down. In fact, the statistics are more telling. Since the coronavirus outbreak, the Red Cross has lost more than 2,700 drives nationwide to the tune of some 87,000 pints of blood. They've never issued appeals like this. And with a visit from Joe Hogsett, what else could bring together the mayor of Indianapolis and the mayor of Hinchtown? We put out the email or, or send him a text, and his right response is, you tell me where, wind me up, point me in the right direction, and I'm there. And, and I got to tell you, it's genuine. These are strange times. It was just a few days ago an IndyCar season opener had the crews and support series ready to go before the St. Pete race was canceled. Doing what's right is the underlying theme for James. The whole thing in St. Pete was very bizarre and very surreal, uh, but obviously it's, it's what has to be done. You know, we're, we're no different than any, any other organized sport or, you know, a lot of other situations that have been uh, help, uh, handled in the same way. Uh, but, man, I just hope as a, as a country, as a planet, we get, we get a hold on this as quickly as possible, and then we can all kind of go back to, back to normal living. And for Hinch, it's all about giving back to a group that kept him alive, not to mention so many others. If you don't have money to give, you've got blood to give. Everybody's got a little extra time on their hands right now. So really encouraging everybody to go redcrossblood.org, find a drive, and, uh, and try and come out and donate. And Inchcliffe has worked with the Red Cross ever since his accident in 2015.